Um, in the first year, the classes can be pretty big. And um, many first year students find that intimidating, but in fact, um, I run a fairly informal intimate classroom. So even in my larger enrollment classes, um, virtually every class involves class discussion. Uh, so we're interacting. My method is, is largely Socratic. Um, so I will put a question to the room and we will have a discussion, conversation about it. Um, obviously that's a little bit easier when you get into the upper levels when the rooms are smaller, but um, um, for the most part um, I try to create an environment where people realize that you, know, you made it into university. You made it into university for a good reason, because you have the intelligence and the drive to be here and creating a classroom context which allows people to show their intelligence and their curiosity and to um, show just how motivated they are um, leads to a much more learn important and exciting learning experience for the students and for myself. My research is predominantly, I guess, broadly situated within the fields of criminology and um, ethnography and I suppose Canadian studies because the bulk of my work uh, has always been in the field of Aboriginal people and Aboriginal justice. So um, most of my work uh, comes directly into my teaching because most of my work is in the field. Well I've, I've been on a lot of campuses in my time. I did uh, my undergraduate, my master's degree at Simon Fraser. I did my PhD at the London School of Economics uh, in the centre of London in the UK. Uh, I had a visiting professorship a few years back, uh, also in the UK, and comparing the places where I went to school and the other places that I've, I've taught and spent time, um, Carleton is a lovely campus because it's very contained. Um, you can probably walk from one end to the other in 20 minutes, and what that means is you have a real sense of community here. It's a manageable campus, it's a safe campus, it's a beautiful campus, and you don't go very far on campus without seeing someone you know. Um, and so you don't get that sort of large anonymous um, experience that you get a lot at a lot of uh, bigger universities and bigger centers. You're, you act, it feels like the community. Well, I think that uh, one of the huge benefits of our program is that um, a lot of us who teach in the program have real, real world experience. We've actually worked in the courts, in correctional contexts, we um, work with community organizations, um, we work in both uh, national and international contexts, so you are learning the law, you are learning um, the fundamentals of legal studies, but you are learning it infused with a much broader set of experiences than you would get at many other programs. So it's a truly interdisciplinary, very eclectic learning experience which allows I think a wide range of students to find courses and instructors who clearly mesh with their own unique interests. If this is where you want to be, if you want to be in university, um, go after it with all you have. Believe in yourself, know that you can succeed, and um, remember that the best advantage of an education is it's an investment in yourself and one that no one can ever take away from you. So come to Carl, um, enjoy what we have to offer, be prepared to work hard, to learn a lot, and to be able to go out into the world and use that to make your world and everybody else's a little bit better.